Hey guys, so I'm going to try to get through everything I got from the bins. But first, I went down here locally, and um, they were really nice to me today. Um, I knew a couple people in there, which always helps. Um, I can't hide that I'm a reseller. I just, when I was younger, 25 years ago, I just told too many people. And, you know, I was really proud of myself, and it was something new then. And so now you can't take that back. Everybody knows what I do. Even when I was a nurse, you know, people would say, oh, you're a nurse too? Like, people just didn't even know me that I had gone to nursing school. This is kind of what I'm known for, good, bad, or indifferent. And so anyway, I went down here to my local thrift, and I don't even know for sure how much value I got. But I did spend... $46.58. I'm pretty sure this is all showing up backwards to you. I don't know yet. I'll have to watch my own videos and see how that works. But anyway, let me show you what I got. Okay, so first I got this pair of boots. They're pretty dinged up, but they are Acme boots. And I want to say they're a size nine and a half. Do let me see here. I don't even know if I can show you there, but they definitely say Acme on them. And then I thought that they said nine and a half. I'm going to have to get my loop out to make sure. But in the thrift, I, I made sure that I could at least see a size. Now on boots, this is what's called the bend test. And this is what I do. I When I'm in the thrift, I try to pull down on these because customers used to get back with me like once in a great while on a pair of dance goes and they'd say I put them on and I was walking around and then two days later they just the whole part came off and I mean I believed it but I thought you know that's got to be few and far between and then I I was at a thrift and I bought myself a pair of fry boots that they had kind of missed so I paid like eight bucks for them and I love those things they look good on me second day I wore them I bent down to I was at another thrift to shop and I, I loved them so much I'd already put those shoes on and oh, the whole all of this came right off of my fry boots so now you know um I believe people when they say that this this can happen. So I'm real careful on dance goes, and I'm real careful on any shoe. I do this real quickly, and I also put in my listing, hey, I have checked this. So I think it protects me from some fraud because people know, you know, I put, I do the bend test on all shoes. And so they know that I've already done it. So, and this is what I've seen from other sellers. They say that if it really is dry rotted, a pretty good tug on here should tell you if it is. So so anyway, these are acorn. They're vintage of some kind. They have these real cool wings on them. And um, I paid, what did they charge me on these? She didn't give me the itemized receipt. Oh, $5, $5. Yeah, here's the itemized receipt. So $5 is for the boots. And uh, I think I can get 40 to 70 depending on, the ankle boots aren't as popular as the real tall ones, but these are real cool with whatever this is. I'm going to try to Google Lens it. And sorry, I have to go a little bit fast. We're supposed to be out of town in about an hour and a half, so I, and this is going to take a while. I talk too much, I know. Okay, so this is where telling people you're a reseller is either good or it's not good. You just never know. But this turned out to be really good. Um, they had this in the back. And it's got the pants that go with them. So I tried looking up the numbers. This one is ripped. I'll show you the other thing I got. But the pants have a number here. And you can normally put that in on eBay. And if anyone has one like it, then, you know, you'll, uh, you'll get something. So I think this might be more costumey. Because this would at first make me think, you know, maybe it's military, but then it also has um, this. And so the pants are a little confusing to me. But just as a Halloween costume, I think I'm okay. And then this part, I mean, this is really nice and thick. And so, yeah, I've got some work to do to see exactly what I have. Um... There's part of the label here, so I'm going to have to just check this out. Um, 
But anyway, that is really cute. I don't even know for sure that the pants and the bottom are the same age. And then there are some stains here too. So anyway, I'm going to get what I can. I paid $18.50. Hopefully I didn't overpay. I think I can get a minimum of $50 just as a cute, you know, a cute thing. So we'll see what happens. So there's that. Okay, so I paid, yeah, $18 for that. And then I got this thing. This is a military coat. And here's the number on it. I don't know if it'll ever be clear enough for you to see. It's a size 36R, and then it has this number here. And it also has this on it. So I paid 20 bucks for this, minimum as a costume. I think I can get a decent amount. But when I looked up military pea coats, or when I Google lensed it, this is exactly what came up. And everybody is calling this a military pea coat. Um, you know, here are the buttons. So, you know, I've got, I'm going to put like an hour into trying to figure out what all these are and then just get the best price I can. I'll ask around and see if anybody knows. But anyway, I thought that was worth, the military pea coat even as a prop is worth like 100 if I looked it up correctly. All right, so that is here locally. And those are my receipts from that. Now here is what I spent at the bins. So one ten forty three. Uh, my husband just carried things out twice. We were starting to make a big mess at the bins. We had trash bags heaped up. So he took this one out first, the 177 96 and then um i kept sorting while he was loading i was kind of down in my back yesterday at the bins i have no clue what i've done to my back but anyway so he got stuck with a lot of the loading so i'm thankful he was there i would have had to just get a cart and leave my driver's license in denver you have to leave your driver's license and that's what i would have done if i would have been alone but it was a lot nicer not to be alone so all right let's open these bags Okay. Forgive me for going fast. Now, I had three things I was trying to accomplish at the bins. One is for consignment. One is for a consignment customer who buys bras from me. And then one is for eBay. So um, this here is brand new with tags. It's a Joseph A. And um it's brand new with tags i'm gonna just consign this to the local consignment place it's real lightweight and i want to say it had some cashmere in it don't quote me uh no just rayon and nylon but anyway brand new i think you know that they'll give me a decent amount for that so the bins in denver are $1.89 i'm not going to weigh everything but with the tags on i paid nine ounces so I don't know I need to figure that out but you know I, I need to know I should know that because I'm paying money out but I paid around a buck for that let's just say buck buck ten I think I'll make my money back on consignment so I have three tubs down here I'm going to put the bras in one that go to the lady who buys them from me I'm going to put the consignment clothing in another and then I'm going to put my eBay in another okay so this is sheets they're made out of bamboo they are a king size, and I laid them all out at the bins. I don't buy anything without, like, you know, spreading it all out and looking at it. Make sure what I'm paying for, because sheets are heavy. Sorry, that is a spam call. If it were my mom, I would have uh, just answered, but it's not. Um, wait, y'all. Here we go. All right. So these are... Caraloha bamboo um, viscose from bamboo sheets and it's a king size so it's gray I've got this part to it and I've got one and one and then hopefully it's in the same sack I'll look down here but I've got the flat sheet too I don't see it right now, but I'll find it. It's in there somewhere. So anyway, the comps on that, when I was looking them up, I think I can get 50. Um, and I would have, by weight, paid maximum like 8 bucks, something like that. 
Now I'm trying to, I should say there's four things I'm shopping for. Um, I might go ahead and just list these now. These are American Eagle uh, classic shorts. I'm trying to get my store full of shorts. I think come the beginning of March with cruises and spring break, shorts start to sell for me. They actually sell for me now. But I really don't want to do 9 and $10 pair of shorts. I'm, I always try to get 12 So if I list these, I'm going to put them at 15 and um, try to just bulk up my store with shorts. Or I'll, I'm will i going to maybe make a big pile. To me, it's kind of a waste to have a pile of shorts that aren't listed if they're going to go on eBay. So I'm either going to pre-list these. Maybe I'll do some drafts with them, you know, that I schedule out two months from now. I might even do that because I am trying to get a draft bank built up. So I'm going to see how far out you can schedule. And that, that may be what I do. But anyway, these aren't lightweight either. Um, let's see. I'm sure I paid like $1.50 for these. Almost, yeah, like almost $2, uh, $1.89 for these. So, so you know, I've got to keep, consider that kind of stuff when I'm buying shorts. 2 to 12 or 2 to 15 is great. I just don't want to do 2 to 9. I just don't see any reason to do that. So let's see, that's going to be eBay. This I haven't looked up yet because it's brand new with tags and I thought I would just use it for consignment if I needed to. So I'm going to put this in the eBay thing and then decide what to do with it. It's from Nordstrom is where they bought it. Um, it's a brand, I think it says Chelsea. Toward the end, I had to go really fast. We had been there for hours and hours all day long and we just had to get out of there, get out of Denver. It says Chelsea 28. Maybe you guys know the brand. But it's, it's just a real pretty, it's either a dress, yeah, I guess it's actually a pretty short kind of cocktail type dress. And um, I don't know what fabric it is. I think it's just polyester. But anyway, that is going to go into my eBay pile till I figure out what it is. Yeah, just polyester stretch, but lined. It's a nice lined dress, and it's a very pretty blue, very pretty. So let's put that in eBay for now. Okay, this robe is an airy robe, and I've got the belt to it. It's just real, real cute, but um, it's a size extra small, and I forgot if I bought this to consign or for eBay. I think this is just consignment, actually. I'm almost sure. I think I looked this up, and especially in an extra small, it wasn't worth it. I will double-check this before I pack it for the consignment, but I need to get my consignment ready to go now because we're going back to the town where I dropped my consignment off. So that's why I'm doing this, and I thought I'd just share with you, let you come to work with me because I'm on a, I'm on a schedule to get my consignment dropped back off. Um, it's been two or three weeks. I don't even know. One of the weeks they wouldn't accept consignment because they were getting ready for the holidays. And then the other two weeks, I just haven't had anything. I just could not get to the bins. Okay, this is cloth and stone. And it's a real cute, like, uh, what do you call them? Shortalls. Not overalls, but shortalls. And again, I'm trying to get ready for summer. It has the has the belt. So I'm going to list this on eBay. It is a size small, but some of this stuff, you know, it cost me like $1.50. So I'm um, going to try to start getting, I want to be the person I've always, for like 10 years, I've told myself, summer, you're going to have thousands of pairs of shorts and sandals. And then in the winter, I do a much better job. I am the person with jeans and flannels and all that. But in the summer, by the time you want this stuff at the bins, everyone is consigning this to like Plato's Closet and you just, I have trouble finding it. So I am trying to be smart. It is kind of a money situation. Like I've probably spent $40 on things that are more summery, um, just even from the bins. And cash flow wise, you know, it may not be the smartest thing, but I do feel like I want to have it done this year. I, what, what happens to me in, um, in the summer is I switch to a lot of hard goods because I'm garage sailing and that makes my sales just blow up. I make a lot of money in the summer from garage sales, but it's hard goods. It's much harder. And if I could have, I've always known if I could just have the shorts and the sandals already listed by April and then pick up what I can in the summer, but just garage sale for hard goods in the summer, it would be some very good months. Um, my sales don't slow down in the summer. I don't have a summer slowdown as a clothing reseller, but it's because... 
I try to highlight sandals, shoes that are kind of year-round like hokas and things. I kind of switch from actual clothing to shoes and then to hard goods. That's the only way I've been able to survive in the summer as a reseller. And the thing is, too, I'm spending money like water in the summer because I'm trying to get a bunch of stuff put up to consign, um, you know, just cheap stuff from garage sales. But cheap per item doesn't mean that you're not spending a lot of money. So it's like my most expensive time uh, cash flow wise in my business because I just I know that'll sell for 25. That'll sell for 50. And I'm trying to um, stock up, but it, uh, I can spend a whole lot of money in, in a weekend at a garage. So I can spend a thousand dollars and whew, it just gets really hard. So this is a Columbia jacket. I, I will look all these up. It's a Colorado University, which is nearby us. I live in Wyoming, but it's nearby. And the consignment store where I take a lot of this stuff, they, for some reason, are just goo-goo over Columbia. Now, I like Columbia, too, and it does okay on eBay for me. But they there's just no Columbia that they cannot sell. And whenever I take them, like, a whole 25 items of Columbia, I mean, my consignment check is really nice. So I probably paid $250 for this, but I'm not kidding. I bet they put, like, $30 on this maybe. I don't know. But I'll, I'll end up with, you know, $12, $15 profit on this pretty easily. This is really cute. This is American Eagle Outfitters. Now, this I'm going by style. Um, I watch Kaylee Elaine a lot and others. I watch a ton of people. Um, you know, and she really emphasizes how, you know, the only time you sell low-end brands is when there's a style factor, um, stack factor, something she calls it. And this is just darling. This just has a lot of things going for it. I don't know if I'd call it Southwestern. I'm not quite sure on my patterns. I'm not that good. It's not Fair Isle. But anyway, um, this is a small. It's also not the best size, but I know um, that I can sell this. I just know that I can get 25 to 30, and it does have a small amount of wool. It's an acrylic wool blend. It's not near pure wool, but this I just knew was darling. It does have some pilling down here um, that I'm going to mention, or I might get my clothes shaver out, but I am definitely going to start this maybe even at $35. I think it's cute. Cute, cute, cute. All right, again, getting ready for summer. Um, I'm 53, would never wear shorts <laughs> that short, but hey, you know, I'm not the customer. These are kind of a small size too, but these things, they sell amazing for me pretty much year round, but definitely in the summer. So I'm going to put probably $13, $15 on these and, uh, you know, they're, they're cute. I just would never be able to wear those things. All right. I'm sure you need my comments about uh, what I would wear. I'm sure that's interesting. All right. C.E. Schmidt, just a workwear brand. Um, I'm trying to realize what an advantage I have here in Wyoming with um, Carhartt, uh, Duluth Trading, C.E. Schmidt. These are brands I find all day long. Dickies. Um, you know, excuse me, boy, lunch really fast. Um so I'm trying to understand how much of an advantage I have. And this is a big size. This is, or it's a good size, 3X. So I probably paid, let's see, at $1.89 a pound. I probably paid, uh, what's it's 11 ounces. So I probably paid at least a dollar. But I think I can sell this for 12 plus shipping. Um, it's short sleeved right now. It's winter. But definitely a dollar to twelve all day long, and I can list these fast. I just go to sell similar, and in like two minutes, literally these are listed. Here is the flat sheet to the bamboo sheets. I'm not looking forward to listing those, but for sixty bucks, I'm not that proud. I will do it, but. Um, I hate listing blankets and sheets and all that. It's just hard. And those I'm going to wash, of course, but I might even end up ironing those. Bamboo just seems wrinkly. Um, but yeah. Now this is just a consignment. I'm trying to keep my consignment cost way down. This is a much prettier green than what the um, color is showing you. It's just lay a me a large. But it's that nice, flowy, frilly... And I think that at my consignment store, they'll really like this. And that probably cost me like 30 cents. So I'm really trying to bulk up my consignment with cheaper items. 
All right, bag number one is done. Here we go. Let's see what's in this one. All right. Okay, now this one shocked me too. That's why huh, I spend probably three hours of the time I'm at the bins, and I do miss some rotations just to look stuff up. If cash flow were different, I don't think I would spend three hours that way. I think I would just dig and dig and dig, do my best from memory, um, and I would probably spend 50 bucks each time I go on items that I have a hunch about, but I don't have time to look up. That's how I would do it if cash flow weren't tight. But, to you know, I find so much good stuff, and um, if I did that... I would probably overspend by a fairly decent amount, get it home. The only thing is I could consign that stuff. And so I'm, I'm questioning. I'm going to map it out a little bit and look at my time. You know, three more hours of pulling stuff with my husband and I versus me out of the loop sitting on my phone, making sure that everything is a perfect purchase. Um, I'm not sure that's smart. I, I may just budget an extra $100 every time I go and just really do my best. Um, this is one of those surprises though. This is a shacket. It's a, it's a shirt, but it's lined and it's corduroy, but it's an arrow brand. And I looked these up and especially in an extra long tall, this is like a $40 item, which arrow, I think of that as about the lowest end you can get. Um, but I just knew this was nice and heavy. And, um, so yeah, I was going to consign it if it wasn't worth money on eBay, but it looks like it is and it's in good condition. Now this, I am getting better at. Now I'm getting better at my Y2K type things, you know, my um, 80s look. Of course, I, you know, dressed like this in the 80s. Like, you know, like in high school, I would have so worn that. I'm not kidding. Even with the big shoulder pads and being thin, being kind of a thinner person, you know, when I was in high school, I was very thin. I still, this still would have been the style and I so would have worn that. And definitely my mom or anyone would have worn this. So um, I'm getting better and better at um, my 80s and my Y2K stuff because I can just kind of see it. It's just, it makes sense to me. Um, I've been studying uh, Jack and Ryan. If you don't know them, shout out to them on, let's see, what uh, just Val Jack Valentine, I guess is the name of their channel. But anyway, they did a huge video on all the different kind of aesthetics. So Barbie core, um, what is it? Um, sea coastal core core, um, academia core, and all these. And I, I really watched that video intently and I made some notes and I'm going to go back and do it again. But I'm trying to see, you know, some of these, some of these clothing pieces as like a certain style. And I know Kaylee Elaine is very good at that too. And I, I see some of these sellers getting, like I would normally not even pick this up, let alone try to get $40 for it. But now I realize that it's definitely Y2K. And when I look this brand up, actually, there's a big demand for these jackets. I wouldn't say that it's 100% sell through, but definitely I won't have any trouble selling this. I hope for around 40. Okay, I gotta make my piles here a little better. Okay. All right, my eBay pile's pretty good. I've got one tub. Um, that's the reason I'm doing this too, is sometimes I'm there all day and it just seems like I have a bunch of stuff to sell on eBay for the coming week. And then pretty soon I realize, no, it goes to this consignment customer, that goes to my consignment store. And when all, all is said and done, I barely have 100 items that are actually eBay. And it's just hard for me to keep track. I can label it when I'm there. I could do that. But then again, it's just, I, I've driven six hours to get there round trip. So to sit and do all this detail work when I can just, you know, keep picking, um, I'm just never sure. Um, this is Blue Rain. It's just very, very pretty. It's very lightweight and thin. So I just threw it in. I think it's going to become a consignment top, but I am going to look it up. If it has a decent sell through on eBay, I'll try to get maybe $12 if it's, if it's going to sell fast. If not, this will be cute for the consignment store. Same with this, more shorts. I'm sure you didn't think you'd see a short haul video. These are just Gap, but they're brand new. They're really cute. So I'm going to, let's see, I thought these had some linen in them. I'm going to look this up. Let's see here. No, Lyocell, which Lyocell also sells really good for me. So I'm going to go ahead and put these on eBay now, you know, in the next week. 
and just put Lyocell in the title. I don't know. I should know what Lyocell is. I don't, but people do buy it when you have that in it. Okay, this is just a mossy oak hat. I don't think it's worth enough on eBay to make it worth my time. I'm going to look it up, but I knew I could consign this and it would be a good consignment item because we live in Wyoming and this will just be really cute. And I, you know, I paid less than a dollar and I'm sure that my share of the consignment will be at least four or five dollars. So actually, well, I guess I can look it up real quick. Ah, I'll just put it in the eBay and then I'll decide because I need some stuff for next week's, um, what do you call it, next week's consignment anyway. Okay, these are Lane Bryant. They are, what size, 16. And these are the ones that are a linen rayon blend. They're just real cute shorts. I'm going to put these on eBay. Um, so, yep. They, you know, and I double check everything for stains. I do buy a lot of things with stains, knowing they have stains like North Face or Patagonia, but I don't bring home any everyday stuff for stains. So I think at most, even though they're linen, I might get $13.50. I'm going to try for that. Okay, what do we got here? Oh yeah, these are um, maternity pants, but they're leather. And um, they're Old Navy maternity, but they're leather. And so I thought the consignment store that I go to, um, it's a huge consignment store, but I, I know that they have trouble getting certain things. So um, I might look these up, but they're an XL Old Navy leather maternity. And so these will probably end up at the consignment store. I probably paid about $1.20 for these. And um, I'm hoping that my share of the profit is like $4 back. Now, I was hoping that I would find the whole thing to this. This is a Pottery Barn Marvel top sheet, um, and I think it's a twin. I didn't even find that yet. I was hoping in the bins that I would find at least the bottom sheet or something, and I never did. But just this top sheet should easily sell for $15 for me. It's in really good demand, and I laid this out, and it's just crisp. And that's why I thought maybe I would find the bottom sheet because this was so clean, and I thought maybe they had donated the whole set, but I never found it. Okay, now this is gorgeous. Um, again, something I would never wear. I don't wear strapless stuff, really. But um, this is um, Jessica McClintock for gunny sex. Now, um, I'm going to do a little more research. I typed in this dress and found similar ones in orange. And I was trying to figure out, is orange a good color? Now, around Halloween, needless to say, this would be. This is USA Made Jessica McClintock. Um size five, six, and these are in good condition, the whatever this is called. Um, so I might either donate this to the consignment because I probably paid about two bucks. It weighs a little under two pounds, um, but it has this real gorgeous detail. But first I want to look these up a little bit better on eBay. Um, it has the tool, and I just want to see what the other colors in this style dress go for. If they go for even 40 or 50, I think I will put this orange one on. But the two orange dresses, the gunny sack that I saw, weren't doing super well. And here's another skirt. I thought this was gunny sacks because I found all this stuff together. This is called Space 46. And it's just this tool with this under layer and so they might have been owned by the same person but anyway space 46 doesn't do too bad and this is a size medium so again I haven't decided if this will be next week's consignment or eBay um, I was just making quick buying decisions and this is really lightweight this I paid less than a dollar for okay I'm gonna have to get some Ikea bags out for this pardon me here all right, let's see what else we got. We're only on bag two, and we got like eight more left. <laughs> We're getting there. We are getting there. I'm going to be smart and put this up here. All right, this is Perry Ellis Naturals, and this is a size large. It's cotton, ray cotton rayon from bamboo, um, so bamboo cotton blend. It's a brand new sweater. I really like it. Now, this would look good on my husband. It, it's his size, but it's just kind of a very 
you know, thin, lightweight sweater. And I don't know, you know, we thrift and find brand new clothes all the time. So he technically doesn't need it, not even for a birthday or anything. So I'm probably just going to take this to the consignment today. But, but um, you know, I need to just look it up. The original price was 80 bucks. I need to see what these go. I'm going to put this here in price up before I leave. See if it's worth 20 on eBay. I probably would choose that. All right, these are cinch jeans. There were actually two pairs just like this, but one had, let's see what was wrong with it. Um, it just had like big stains or something I knew I couldn't get out. I think it was sticky is what it was. It was like sticky stains. And so anyway, I only ended up with one pair and I love cinch. It sells good for me. And these are 30, 34. So these are a thin waist and long tall. And I've learned from a guy on my mentorship group, um, who uh, does the jeans call that, especially to Japan and places like that, you know, the tall, the thinner um, customer is sometimes from there. And either way, though, um, let's see. These are the, I, don't, I thought they had a, a style name. Well, I guess they don't. But anyway, I'm going to start these at 30 just because of the tall part of it. And um, I think I'll get it. They have a great look to it. I'm trying to get smarter on not just saying, okay, cinch jeans are this much. Now, I'm also trying to not spend my whole life researching when I should be typing because that can be a procrastination thing where, you know, you're just looking up stuff and you're not getting your work done. And, you know, $15 versus $25 is still better if it's listed than if it's in a pile. So I'm trying to get better at that and not researching all day. But I'm also trying to, in the background when I'm working, learn about some styles. Now, Chico Zenergy, size 1. Um, I just had, for a long time, I had just quit picking up Chico's and quit picking up Talbot's because I was trying, I think, to sell the pants and the shirts and the jackets. And so the shirts and the real common stuff just wasn't selling. And I think I just told myself, you know, Chico's isn't worth it. Talbot's isn't worth it. But I've been listening to some other people, um, who sell and they call it substantial pieces. So this is a substantial piece. It's really cute. It's lined. Um, you know, it has stretch, but it's just, it has this cool neck on it and it was very lightweight. It probably cost me about a dollar fifty. So, um, you know, they're trying to pick up the bigger pieces, which in Chico's a size one is kind of a smaller piece, but this jacket is just really cute. Like I would even wear it if it would fit me. So I'm gonna, um, try to get $25 out of this and see what happens. I want to test it for myself. Um, because these other people who are doing well with Chico's and Talbot's and Coldwater Creek, they have a lot of it too. So it may take me a while to where I can rotate this for more than like $16, but I'm going to try. And even at $16, that's okay. That's fine. My Ikea bag fell over. Okay, that does that bag. Let's get the next bag here okay so my husband found these he found one and then anyone who knows my husband he's just like mr nice guy and i don't know nobody at the bins would have ever come up and said oh here would you like the other shoe like i don't know why i guess i just have a look that people just i don't know but my husband he's just like this nice guy and you just want to you know say hi and all this and so anyway someone just came up and handed him the other shoe you know and that's just that's a good thing about having my hubby there he'll probably get us a bunch of free stuff because he just has that demeanor of just this nice quiet guy i don't know anyway i wish it would happen to me but he's the he's the nice one i guess so anyway this is cat i mean these are not new but they're steel toed but these i just can't describe the condition of the steel toe shoe and I looked them up I had to google lens them because the number didn't come up for me but they're all on eBay and I should easily get about $75 for these these are a size USA 13 so we'll see if that helps or hurts sometimes it can help sometimes it can hurt we'll see okay and then my husband found these and these are Emilio Franco from Italy. And just on the style alone, I think I can get about $40. They're just really cute. They're like, they're not really bowling shoes. There's a name for these here. I got to figure it out. I, I used to know when I sold just only shoes a lot of the time. But anyway, these are a size. Where is my size? I know I always look before I leave the bins on 
what the size is. These are an eight and a, or nine and a half. So yeah, made in Italy. Um, I'll do okay on these. Uh, I'm gonna start them at at least over 40 and see what happens. And we did the we did the dry rot test, and these are good. Whew. I'm gonna have to get a better setup for these hauls because I just don't have enough tubs everywhere. All right, this is called Western Frontier. It's just a very basic uh, short sleeve pearl snap. So I either have a consignment customer who will buy these from me for like five bucks, or um, I'm just gonna go ahead and list it. It still has a Goodwill tag on it. They wanted seven for it, no wonder it didn't sell. But um, since I'm getting more and more and more Western and more outdoors and more Wyoming type stuff, I, I'm pretty good at selling these for around 12 to 15. Oh, I don't know what to do for this thing here. I'm going to move it over here so that I can do it. Okay, so on my last video, I think I showed you an advent calendar snowman. And anyway, that sold overnight for $39.99. I couldn't believe it after Christmas, like just a few days ago. So this one isn't the same company. And I think there I was trying to even figure out what the company was. But I thought, you know, for a dollar, if the last one sold for $39.99 and this one even has the little Santa that goes in it. The other one didn't have a have a thing that went down in it. So, um, you know, like that. So I'm going to try to put this at 40 again and just see what happens. He's as cute or cuter than the other one, but the other one I think was House of Lloyd or a better name. But I'm going to try it. If not, I'll be ahead for next Christmas. Okay, this is Prana. I don't pick up all Prana, but I'm trying to pick up more and more. At the bins, I will. This was about a dollar, and it's a slim fit size X extra large, and um, I'm thinking, even with Prana, this is kind of a, it's a cute pattern, but it's, gonna, it's kind of muted. Um, I'll probably still end up with 12 to 15 on a good day, I think, on that. I don't know what it's made out of. Um, I don't know if it's something special, like um, bamboo or something, organic cotton, that doesn't hurt, I'll try for 15, see what happens, okay, this thing here is just, it's really pretty, it's kind of handmade, kind of new, um, I see this stuff at the bins all the time, um, they were trying to get $25, probably at a craft show, someone went to a lot of work on this, so I think I'm gonna either use this as a gift, which, you know, I don't know how many people really appreciate getting these things. I like it. I it just I don't think I would wear it. So I might even just give it to the consignment place. It's cute, but um, in the past I find so much of this stuff brand new with tags at the bins that I've given almost everybody I know, like a brand new one just for like here. Do you want this? Not really for Christmas, but anyway, that'll give me something cute for the bins, or not for the bins. I'm sorry for the consignment. <laughs> okay, all right. So bra number one, just bras. I pick these up for a consignment customer. If it's a lower end brand, she pays me over a dollar. If it's a higher end brand or a bigger size, then she'll she'll pay me more. So um, so it's definitely worth my time since we're in there going through all this anyway. This is just a bally. So I'll probably, you know, I'm paying uh, three ounces. So I don't know what that is into a dollar eighty nine. But anyway, I'll double my money on the bras minimum and I usually make more. This I'm just going to give to the consignment. It's just a hat and gloves. And uh, so yeah, I'm just going to throw that in to consign it. This is really cute. I like this shirt or this sweater. This, where are we? Cold Water Creek. Got to get the hair out and wash this thing. But anyway, Coldwater Creek. It's an extra large 16. And it's just really, really pretty. Um, and there was a reason I thought I bought it. It does have the nice cowl neck. But um, this is a merino wool blend. And so that's why I got it. I'm trying to, again, listen to some of the people out there who are saying, you know, if it has a stack factor or if it has something about it, like merino wool, then sometimes you can pick up and actually get a halfway decent amount on a cold water creek. Now there's people out there like Kaylee Lane and some of them, they would easily get $30 on this. I don't think I'm there yet. I don't think my store, you know, can garner that yet. Um, but I'm going to try to start it at 30, take offers, put promoted listing and see how much I can start to get for some of these 
brands. I mean, common sense tells you that Coldwater Creek is a much bigger brand than some of the other things. It's just a matter of it's kind of saturated. But um, I'm going to do a special search when I go to list this. Look at Coldwater Creek sweater, merino wool, and then see um, what I should price this at. And uh, see, like, what the sales rank is. Okay, what is this thing? I know I was going to donate this or something. This is Nicole Marciano. It's just a hat, but it cost me like less than 50 cents, and I'm going to just uh, consign that. It's kind of cute. I think I'll get a few bucks out of it. Okay, let's see. This is Alex and Olivia. It's a brand new dress. It's very thin and lightweight, so I paid probably around a dollar for this, if that. The Ross tag was on clearance, and it was $15. Um, it's just polyester stretch. I think I'm just going to consign it. I, you know, I don't think it's worth me typing into eBay or nothing I want to mess with. Okay. These are Forever 21, and I'm going to put these in the eBay pile and then decide, but they're they're a really cool marble kind of effect. And then they have this on the back. So I decided to try them. I'm going to look up and see if there's anything like them. If not, I'll um, consign them. But I think I can get, you know, 20 on um, these on eBay. And if not, the consignment store, I know, will mark these up. They mark up all these Hollister and all that. Okay, this is Ping. And... Why did I get this here? Some reason I did. You know, I don't honestly know. I think, I thought, oh, I see down here. That's why. It, it's a little bit higher line of theirs. It's called the Sensor Cool. I still think um, the reason I got this is I thought I could get 12 for it. It's an XL in the Sensor Cool, and it's white, and it's clean with no stains, and I paid probably 80 cents for it. So I'm going to try to get between 12 and 15 on that. These are just socks. I'm just going to consign them. This is a bra for my consignment customer. And I do wash the stuff I send them just because I'm throwing all my stuff in the wash anyway. So they're real happy. That's why they pay me, especially on the better brands, they pay me a decent amount because it all comes washed, ready to list. This is the Victoria's Secret size 36D. And, um, and it's really, it's a good bra. Nice padded. I check the, I check the, uh, underwire in the bins. I'm just sitting there and I just, by habit, I just bend it. Um, here's another bra. This is an offline by Airy. It's an XL. This is more of a sports bra. So like this one, you know, they're not going to get as much, so I don't get as much, but again, you know, under 50 cents for me. This is um, an Anna Packable Down jacket in a 1X. And I looked this up, and these Packable Down, even in Anna brand, is halfway decent. So I think I can get about $35 for this just because it's kind of pufferish, but it's also pa uh, packer packable. And packable is a good keyword. So yeah. Um, even though this is a brand I would not normally pick up in almost anything I can think of, this I, I did, and the zipper works great. I don't know why I keep putting that down there. Let's put it up here. All right. This is Columbia. It's a nice summer top coming up. So I'm going to probably put this in my spring or summer consignment pile. Um, again, I'm trying to be careful on my budget of how much I spend for the next three months. But going into summer, uh, I don't want to have to hassle with trying to find my consignment stuff, but I still want a lot of money at the consignment store. So I'm trying to pick up stuff now that's just real easy. Nobody else wants it. And this will sell for a decent amount come summer. L.L. Bean, large regular. This is kind of more of a, like a vented fishing type thing. And I do okay on L.L. Bean. Um, I think this is a woman's actually. Don't quote me, but um, I'm going to look that up. And it's just, it's just a nylon blend. And so I'll probably get like between 12 and 15 for this, depending on, yeah, I think it's a woman's just because of this. I know a man could have that, but I believe it's a woman. So I'll, I'll look at which side the buttons are on. And that's really cute. I just don't wear that exact style, but um, I'll get like 12 on it. 
just another hat and beanie just to consign. And then here is another Eddie Bauer. This says woman's on it. And this is what I think the same person donated because it has these kind of sleeves. So again, this is like a nylon blend. And this one doesn't have the, the back part. But um, I might even put those two together, you know. I might try to put them together and get like 22 or something. We'll see. Okay. This is Manor brand. Again, I couldn't find it. It's just a nice top, but brand new. But um, it feels really nice. It has, I don't know what the fabric is. It might just be polyester. Rayon and spandex. So yeah, I'm going to just consign this when summer comes or when spring comes. Um, I just thought it was an easy way to make a couple bucks. Okay. This is Columbia. Again, I'm going to get this ready to consign. I guess I can look this up on eBay. It's a size 36, so these are men's. But that one store, even in the winter, wants shorts. And Columbia, they'll love. So, Okay. This is just a Disney shirt. I'm going to look it up just to double check. But it's um, it has the actual, you know, looks like legitimate to me. But I'm real careful with Disney and stuff, and especially brand new with tags on eBay. And um, I'm just going to consign this um, to that store. They'll, someone will like this. These I got, they're, um, I was going to use them as a gift, but they're more like um, St. Patrick's Day, so I don't know. But I like them. They're really pretty, and I don't have any St. Patrick's Day decorations, so in about... Four or five weeks, I'm going to put these on my, like on my stove and drape them over or whatever. Here's another bra. Now, these really small bras, you know, they're just so small, I think. Um, my consignment person does take them. And this is a very sexy Victoria's Secret. Um, but I probably won't charge her more than like a dollar or a dollar fifty for these. For that one. This is a Cabela's. This one is full of hair. I gotta wash it. And it's green. It's a prettier green than what I'm showing. And it's just a full zip um, medium. So yeah. So it's just a nice, no, it's not a full zip. It's a quarter zip, half zip actually, half zip Cabela's. But that'll either do good at the consignment after I wash it or I'll uh, sell it on eBay for like 15. I'm throwing that one on the floor. Whew, man. These I just got to consign. I'll get a few bucks out of them. Okay, this is, this. there is underwire in this. This is a, I don't know what kind of bra this is. This is just a champion, but it's a nice, you know, underwire size champion. So uh, that's just for my consignment person. Then we got a whole thing of socks and I just, you know, it's just like two bucks for more socks. And I actually don't have that many white socks. I have lots of black socks. So I thought I better get this. So that is for me. Let's see. This is a Swiss gear belt. Um, I didn't look this up. I'm just going to either consign it or I'm going to um, try to get like 10 bucks on eBay for it. But I think this will be uh, a good consignment thing. I'm probably just going to throw it in there. This is another Victoria's Secret bra, and I get a decent amount for those. I've checked the underwire. I just have to throw all these in a laundry bag and wash them together. So um, anyway, nice color, and I think it's good. So anyway, consignment person. I promise I have $100 items in here. So far, the most expensive is just the cat shoes, but I promise there's some decent stuff coming. This is just Eddie Bauer. I find all this outdoor stuff really easily. Just these like real lightweight packable shorts. If they were in my size, I might keep them. But these are a uh, women's 16, so I think I'm going to list these. And I do use the word packable in the title, and I think I get a lot more money. Because, you know, if you're going on a hiking trip, you can literally do this. And even with that Anna Down jacket, if you had to. You know, people love that when they're traveling. So put travel or packable, and I get more money that way. Hey, sorry guys, 50 minutes already. I am really slow. This is Marmot. I better speed up. This is a jacket here. It's just like a windbreaker jacket. Um, but I'll still get about 20 for that. 
I think it's just pure nylon. And these are, these are Eddie Bauer Home, I think they are. And these are queen size. Are these Eddie Bauer home? I think so. Anyway, I'm keeping these. These are flannel Eddie Bauer. They weren't really worth selling. And so I got the whole set. We looked. It's very, very clean. So I'm going to wash that and keep that. I had two pair to sell. And then I had a pair or two for me. So I really spent a lot on sheets. But I do so well with them. Let's see. I was just trying to find the tag so I know if this is one I'm keeping or selling, but I think this is the keep one because I showed it to my husband and I thought we could use it. Anyway, I'll find it, but I do have a pair of Eddie Bauer home in there. I'm pretty sure that's what those are. All right, this is new with tags, I thought. Yeah, there's the tag. Unless it's, Yeah, that's the tag. This is from Kohl's. It's apartment nine, but I'm just going to consign it. it. I'll get a couple bucks out of that. Okay, next bag. All right, this thing I picked up, it's a um, flag, you know, one of those porch flag things. And I just couldn't figure out what was on the front. It says Peapod or, P yeah, P. Peabody. So, you know, it cost me a dollar. I couldn't figure it out in time to see if that's just for, you know, like it's on a book and it's a joke or what. But um, anyway, I'm going to um, figure that out and either sell it or I'll just donate it back to the thrift. I just ran out of time and I had to make a decision. This is Darling. This is a cute little apron. Cute, cute. And it does... Um, have the tag down here. I couldn't figure out if it was, you know, what it was exactly, but um, I'm going to just try to get like 15, 20 on that on eBay, see what I can get out of that. All right, this, this is Alvina. I'm pretty sure that I had another Alvina dress or Galena, one or the other, and I just got rid of it, it uh, put it back in the bins. It wasn't worth selling. Um, but this is really, really pretty. So I'm going to consign this if it ends up not to be worth anything. I've got to check this out on eBay. It's an Alvina size 36. So definitely a different, uh, you know, country it's made in more European. And so, yeah, I'm going to do my, do my work on this and then make a decision on eBay or consignment. But it is a gorgeous, gorgeous kind of more like prairie boho type, um, dress so I think it's really pretty okay this is just a really cute sweater this is just it's called love madly and it just has that look to it you know kind of that cardigan um, real pretty hooded sweater so I'm going to see um, what the Love Madly brand is, but I just bought it because um, it cost me about probably two two fifty, and I knew I would consign it if it um, doesn't work out on eBay because it just has that look to it that'll do really well. Same with this. This is Polygram. Polygram, and this is just a real pretty, like, uh, it looks like linen. I'm not sure that it is. I don't think I ever checked. It's got a lined skirt. And let's see where we're at. I want to find out so I know where I'm giving this to. Here we go. This is, nope, just 100% cotton. So this would be really good um, for like a rendezvous or something. I don't know. I guess they had cotton that I need to ask. Ask my friend, I don't remember, um, you know, what, what fabrics are okay, but I definitely like just a pure cotton. This does have a lining though, so I don't know about that. But anyway, um, I'm going to look this up and um, it just has that very simple kind of minimalist look and I'm going to see if I want to sell that or consign it. This was kind of my last bag where we were just in too much of a hurry and I'm like, let's just take it, I'll figure it out. This is called Bailey's Blossoms. It's a size medium. 
and this just has a real pretty look to it. It's just this, I'm so short, guys, sorry. Unless I stand 10 feet back, you're not going to get the whole gist of it, but it's just a real long maxi dress, and it's gorgeous. Um, let me see where we're at. This is a polyester stretch. It just, it just has like that comfy, like nightgown feel. So I'm going to look up what Bailey's Blossoms is and either consign it or sell it on eBay. Then this, this is one of the high-end items, and you're going to be surprised. This is a Panhandle Slim shirt, and it's torn in the neckline, and I knew that when I bought it. But look at this thing. Look at this thing. This Western shirt, I am going to start at literally $200. Um, it is button front. It's not even pearl snap, so I don't know if I'll get $200, but this thing is so unique, and... And in the Western shirts, if you go highest to lowest, you will see that the more weird patterns it has, the more money you get. And so I am going to start this thing really high. It's a size medium, large, 16. Um, I've got to figure out if it's a woman's or if that was a boy's. And um, But either way, um, I bet, even if this was a woman's, I bet this sells for a guy. I bet a guy will want to wear this because just where I live, you know, this is something that, at least in my mind, you would wear to go out at night. You know, you wouldn't wear this necessarily to work all day, but at night when you're kind of trying to dress up a little bit in a Western style, these shirts just sell really good. I'll, I'll see. Uh, you know, maybe I will only get 100 but I'm going to get a lot for it. This is consignment, Columbia, snow pants. Um, they are very common at the Denver bins. These are youth, but um, they'll do really good on consignment. They are, you know, waterproof fabric. I know I could list all this stuff myself, this snow pants stuff. And I do okay on eBay with this kind of Columbia snow pants. But actually, I this, this one consignment store just pays me out more. And I don't like to mess with it, so I just take it there. Okay, this is just a 511 Tactical. Um, I know that the 511 Tactical used to do really a lot better for me, and I, I'm going to look and see kind of what the prices are going for. This is a 2XL, and I'm trying to see if it's concealed carry. I don't think it is. So, yeah, I don't think that this is a concealed carry one. So I'm going to either consign it and I'll make like 3 or $4 off of it or I'm going to list it on eBay. I just need to see what the 2XL size is doing. And then this I love, 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 love this. See and be seen. It's just a real nice, thick, pretty crew neck sweater. Um, it has kind of a raised pattern on it. And um, this is an acrylic nylon um, stretch blend, so it's not a special wool or anything. And um, I looked this up, and I thought, now I can't remember, I think I was going to do this for eBay. I thought I could get like 20 for it pretty quickly, but I'll look it up again, and this may go to consignment. So I'm going to put it here with that Periella sweater. All right, next bag. Whew. All right, we still have six more after this, guys. I may have to break this up in two because you guys are going to give up, so you won't want to do this. Okay, this, maybe this is, the, yeah, this is the Eddie Bauer home, these skiers. And so I got this to sell. Um, this I thought I looked, and with the skier print, I thought I could get like 35 or 40 on these flannel sheets. So I'm pretty sure this is the one that I was going to sell. I don't know now. Okay, this. I love this kind of stuff. This is not the brand I thought it was. I knew immediately to pick this up. I've sold like two or three of these in my life, and I normally get around $80 for them. So when I picked this up, I thought I knew the brand, which I thought was like it's carefree something. I've just I've sold them several times in my reselling career. But this one is not. This one is Chessa Davis. But it's just these amazing skirts if I were any taller I would wear this like to church and wear it all day long but um I love these things and they're always lined and so I looked it up it's just such a prairie boho look and I'll easily I'm gonna put 80 bucks on this we'll see what I get these are just consignment they're 
like these camo swim trunks, but uh, I'll probably wait like a couple weeks, like until February or March, closer to when they want spring stuff. And uh, but they just have this big bold weird thing on it, so this will be for consignment. They're Maui uh, and Sons, I think they're, and I could sell them on eBay, but I think they'll do better. Just get my money on consignment. Here's another pair of snow pants or just Jerry brand. They're just, um, you know, basic cargo snow pants. And uh, I think I'll do okay on those. They're a size 10, 12. They're kids again. Um, a lot of people don't want to buy their kids snow pants and pay brand new. All right. Let's see what else we got. Oh, yeah. This is a Patagonia. It's a kid's but it's got the T-snap, and um, it says large, size 12 regular. So I've got to look on eBay and decide if I can sign that or what. I don't get a whole lot for Patagonia at the consignment place. That's what's strange is that they actually seem to mark up Columbia more than Patagonia. So I'm going to decide what to do with that. Just another bra. This is a nice, substantial piece, and it is Victoria Sport. So hopefully I get, you know, a decent amount from my consignment customer, but I didn't pay a lot, so it's a real nice bra. These are just brand new boxers. They are, I don't know what brand, Crown and Ivy. I guess I should look them up since they're brand new. I think I'm just going to put those in my consignment. All right, where are we? Uh, Tommy Bahama. This is half silk. It's not 100% silk, but it's in a nice big size. And so um, it's a 2XT, so a tall. So I'm going to try to get at least $15 to $18 on this. It looked clean. Looks like a really nice shirt. These are like just um, Sonoma um, pajama bottoms, but the Valentine's Day is coming up, so I'm going to consign these. Then this, same thing, this is, I forgot what brand this is. Oh, this is Climate Right, and I'm just going to consign these next week. I'll get them washed and get them consigned. Now these I love. These, these might be the Eddie Bauer home. There's something Eddie Bauer home in this bag. I don't know what. These are denim curtains, and there's two of them, two panels. And I remember looking them up, and let's see here. What do we have? These are Woolrich. Yeah, these are Woolrich denim, denim curtains, tab curtains. And I have two. One has a little bit of fade. I think it's this one. Has a little bit of fade right there, just on this very edge right here. But I still saw these going for like 70 bucks for just two panels. I didn't compare my size versus what they had, but I still think I'll do okay. But those are heavy. I bet you I paid about eight bucks for those two together. Here's just a plain bra. Um, this is just a Bally bra. These are Cabela's shorts. I'm going to put these on eBay. I'm just trying to build up my Cabela's Eddie Bauer REI Patagonia North Face. I'm trying to build up and be kind of that store because that's what I can find. At least as far as my lower kind of just everyday stuff. That's what I want to have it full of because I can easily find that. This is Victoria's Secret. Just a nice black bra for my consignment customer. This is a pretty purple bra. And this is a Bally. This is another Bally, but it's a real pretty pink one. And then this one is a Victoria's Secret. And anyway, it's a it's a nice size. I'm not sure what, but, um, but anyway, that's a pretty pretty good bra there. Okay, these are Perry Ellis pants, but they are a linen blend. And I looked them up, and they don't do too bad. So I'm going to try to get like 20 um, for these. They're in good condition. Nice and lightweight. I probably only paid about a buck for those. Mm -hmm. 
yeah oh i gotta tell my daughter i'm coming yeah these are morona and they're just cotton they're just cute shorts um so yep gonna try to just get those um listed or something sorry i gotta tell my daughter answer her real quick as i said on my last video you know my family doesn't interrupt me that much but we all work different schedules and most of them are self-employed um but yes we will be there okay this is a Woolrich flannel it's an XL and it's just real pretty so I should be able to get like 12 to 15 for that okay we have another bra this is a bally I found like a bunch of bally bras together Sometimes at the bins, I just have such competition. I can't get a single bra for my consignment customer. And then sometimes I do real well. And then this is just a nice black dress. By the way, I should say, if this does cut off, I just always restart it. Um, hopefully not. This is a Lulu small. It's just a nice little tie, tie cute dress. Um, you know, kind of more of a casual everyday dress. And I'm just, I guess I should look it up. I don't sell a lot of Lulus, but I've heard the dresses do well. And I'll probably consign that, though. Okay, I feel like I'm slow. I feel like I watch a lot of hauls, and maybe people don't do every single item, or maybe I buy too much more than they do. I don't know, but it seems like my maybe I'm just talking too much. <laughs> I don't know. All right, this is H and M, but it's a real pretty, bigger size, um, nice blouse. So I was just going to consign this. It's not any special fabric. It's actually oversized, is what it is. It's not even a bigger size. It's a size eight, and um, let's see what the fabric is i'm sure i'm going into too much detail on these things this is just i can't even read just a viscose so yeah i think that'll do really well at the consignment place though just another bra this one is victoria's secret of some kind victoria's secret these are maurice's but i'm gonna see if these fit me they're actually in my size, so I'm going to try those on. If not, I'll consign them. Now this is easily worth about $75. I'm going to put this probably at like 80 bucks, and then I have a coupon that comes up or whatever. This is a Lauren Hansen for Dillard's, but it's just the Halloween thing. It's just... Some of these sweaters with the Halloween vests sell really high, and I didn't look at what months, but in the last 90 days, a lot of these have gone for very good prices. So I'm going to go ahead and list it. Halloween and Christmas sell all year round for me, and so I was excited about that. This is just a Robert Graham. A few years ago, we all would have been jumping up and down. I think that the, they still sell for like 15 to 20. This is a really cool pattern. I'll try to look it up on Google Lands. So I'm hoping to get 15. If not, I'll give it to the consignment place. I mean, it's really lightweight. I paid like less than a dollar for that. Alrighty. Let's see. This is Eddie Bauer only in a 2XL. Um, I'll probably only get realistically like 10 or $12 for this, but I have it under my cell similar so I can take the photos, click cell similar, and literally in one minute flat, I can list these kind of button down shirts if they're in my cell similar, which, you know, even if you have to change the title, you can list really, really fast when you repeat yourself. So this is a Brooks and Dunn, but it's just a real cool Western shirt. I go more by the pattern than what the comps say. So pearl snap, but the pattern is really good. So I'm going to try to put like 35 or 40 on this. I don't know if I'll get it. It's a lot more common than that last one. But um, because I'm getting more and more of the same thing, I'm trying to get repeat buyers in for certain things. I think it's going to be a long haul. I'm not saying that'll work like in a month or even a day. It's just going to take having thousands of certain items up all the time, and then you can do it. This is a BKE camouflage denim shirt, or a jacket, jacket actually. I didn't look it up because I knew I could consign it because it's a nice size in a nice pattern. But uh, I'm going to look that up and either consign it today or get it listed. 
Now this for me does really good, these round tree in York. I these kind of more I just think they're cargo shorts, but they're not something that maybe young people wear, I guess. So maybe they get lost. But especially during the summer, I can always get $15 plus shipping for these. So I'm just going to list them on eBay. This is another experiment to see on the better, nicer pieces. Like this is just Cold Water Creek, but it's a size 16. Not really a plus size. Um... But it is a linen rayon, and so I want to see, you know, can I get 20 for this? And should I be trying to build a following for Coldwater Creek? Uh, needless to say, those companies have huge, huge numbers of women followers, and so I, I want to take advantage of that advertising. See what I can do anyway. All right. These are Banana Republic Kentfield. I'm not sure if I meant to pick these up or not. They are... Um, 34, 32. I don't think I did. I think I meant to put these back. But anyway, I'm going to just consign these. The Kentfield pant, there were like three of these, and I had hoped that that one little Kentfield pant had a good following. But, um, and the size isn't too bad, but I think I'm still going to just consign them. This is a Cabela's, but it's a real, real nice. And the purple is much prettier than what it's showing. I checked it all for damage it has this night nice detail down on the bottom and this is some kind of a wool something or other this is a wool cotton blend so i am going to put this on ebay i'm trying to eventually by the end of the year the goal is to have pay more attention to my fabrics not even brand i've been very brand minded and there's nothing wrong with that but i'm trying to do you know, when just every listing, wool, linen, merino wool, polo Ralph Lauren, or western shirts that are cool. I'm trying to find some themes that I easily find. And this sweater, I find this all day long in Wyoming without any trouble. This is just a cute hat. I had hoped that maybe Brit's Knits sold better, but it really doesn't seem to do anything on eBay. So I'm just going to consign this today. This is going with my Western theme. This is a woman's panhandle slim, but it's a longer kind of tunic with the belt. Um, you know, it's really lightweight. I paid probably 80 cents for it. Um, and it's a medium, and it's just plain cotton, but it will kind of fill out my Western offerings that I'm trying to get. And then this is a real cute hat. It's a... Um, sun and sand, but it's UPF 50 and I didn't see myself in the store with this, but the problem with me is I need hats in the summer and especially like if I'm at the flea market, but a little bit of wind takes most hats off my head. I guess my head is small enough. I don't know, but this one has ties in it. So it looks like I can actually maybe get this thing to stay on my head. So I'm going to keep this and, um, hope that if I pull the strings that I can actually have a hat for this summer. It's funny, you know, I just have trouble with the weird, weirdest things. Now this is a Sente pants, and these are filthy on the bottom. I got them knowing that they were filthy like this. Um, it really was hard to look these up on eBay, even though they're vintage. I Because eBay kept changing the word to a scent. And no matter what I did on sold. So anyway, I went to Google. They didn't change the word on me. And I found that some people on eBay do have these for 50 or 60. I'm going to try to go ahead and list mine. See what happens. I got to wash those for sure. I might have to stain treat those. Okay, so here's some little booty um, shoes or ankle booty, whatever you call these. These are a brand called um, Paul Green. They're in pretty good shape. There's Paul Green, if you ever see that. And I don't know what size these are. They're, they're like a, I think a, I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. But these are called, I can't tell you, um, the Iked Later Boot or something like that. But anyway, um, I saw these and they had really good comps. I think 40 bucks for those. See what we got in this one. Whew. All right, this is 
I think the best thing I found, unless that Western shirt goes for 200, you know, which it may or may not, these are definitely the best thing I found. Nilly Lotan. And I don't even know what the other numbers mean. I just remember, and I'm not joking, this week I was listening to Jack Valentine and um, Ryan. I'm like, why do I always forget Ryan's name? But anyway, he's not on there as much. But anyway, so these are just a cotton stretch um, Tribeca design. So I'm going to see if that means something. So um, at least based on the name brand of just Nilly Loton, this should be the best thing I found. I have not looked up all the details of it. I just knew I wanted to get it, explore the brand, see if fakes are a thing. So I'm going to look these up before I list and make sure that fakes aren't a problem in this brand. But the, this brand is huge um, as far as like how much people pay for it. So I was really excited to see that. These are just very lightweight Nike golf. For some reason, I do really good on these, especially, like I said, in the tall pants. These are a six, um, a size six. And so I really like these. I'm going to see. Um, depends on how much workouts I've been doing. Sometimes I can wear six. Sometimes not. We'll find out. <laughs> we'll see. Oh. If not, I'm going to, um, they're really lightweight, and I paid like 50 cents for them. This is an Ariat Real, um, a real, um, it's just a real cute, I wouldn't say that you would consider that Western, but it's in the Ariat brand, so it stays with that style. And um, I'm trying to see what fabric this is. This is just cotton. So anyway, I'm going to list this on eBay just to kind of build up my, my offerings of kind of certain brands. And the pattern is kind of Western, I would say. All right. These are page... Paid short, same thing, not something that I could ever wear, but um, I'm going to get those um, to the, or on eBay, because I, I get like 12 bucks a pair in the summer. Just another bra. This is Victoria's Secret. So anyway, I checked all the underwire. This is a real pretty one. Same with this one. This is an older brand. I didn't know this brand at first. This is called Carnival. And it's, uh, but it's not vintage. So anyway, but this seemed to actually do okay. These are just some gray socks. I'm just going to keep these. I thought they were cute, cute. Then this was really cute. This is in Simply Couture. And this brand itself does okay, not super. But this is just such a cute pattern in that brand that I thought I could try and get about 20 bucks for it. I don't think I'll have any trouble just because of the really cute teddy bear and it's just a real pretty uh, lace type overlaid, you know, shirt. Let's see, that is just a, a birthday card I got from my mom. Am I cheap? But yes. But hey, you know. Yeah, so the point is, can I find this by next year at her birthday? Because she just had a birthday, so I'm hoping I can. <laughs> All right. This is Talbot's. Again, I'm going with my experiment. If you get larger and above, can you take, like, a cute piece like this with the polka dots, and can you eke out, you know, 15 to 20? Um, that's in the back, actually. This is really cute. I actually really like this thing. I just don't normally wear things that are so high up on my neck. But um, this is actually my size um, on top, so I might try that out, but probably just eBay. I, it's more of an experiment. This is another, um, we talked about, Jessica McClintock Gunny Sack. It's real cute. I'm just going to see what these are going for and then decide if I consign this. This consignment place is absolutely huge, and um, I don't know what that is. Uh, they uh, have a huge costume section and vintage section. And so if I don't think these are worth it on eBay, they'll definitely consign well. Oh, I was like, what is going on? Okay. I was like, did I, am I pulling out of the same bag and talking the same thing? Anyway, this is another CNB scene. I did not honestly realize that I had gotten to. That's how busy I was. This one's a little different. It's like, what's going on? So for me to put both of these in here, I must have felt like the brand was good, but I'm going to look that up again. Maybe consign it. Okay, so this is the powder keg, um, Columbia, and this is the Japan 
um, Japan one there, and uh, LL Japan, and I've got to look this up again. I know I sold one vintage Columbia three or four years ago, and I got like $300 for it, and I know it was made in Japan. Now, these I looked up the Japan part in the thrift, and I couldn't find that that was anything all that special, so I need to look these up again, but these are going to most likely go to consignment. That's what I bought them for, unless they happen to be worth more money. Okay, this is Peck and Peck. It's just a real lightweight, you know, um, long sleeve shirt. And so I'm going to consign that. Okay, and then this is Altered State. Uh, don't quote me. I think that's an anthropology. I didn't look it up. But it's just real nice lightweight stuff for me to consign either like coming up in March and April. So I'm just trying to accumulate stuff like that. Ooh, it's $2.49. Yep. Hubby and I are going to get ready and go here in a minute, so I'm going to have to hurry. Okay, this is Columbia. Same thing. It's got the LL Japan. And this is Bugaboo. So, yeah, I want to get this uh, either looked up or consigned. This I also bought just on the look. Now, this is J. Jill, but that is just gorgeous. And at first I thought that the that it was like torn there, but that's by design. See, it has all this uh, stuff on it. So this is just a gorgeous sweater. I don't think I even looked to see if it was wool. It feels like something, but I don't know. Uh, no, cotton acrylic polyester, but it's just a real cute, a real, real cute sweater. So I, this is, um, I'm doing kind of a J. Jill experiment too, because I hear so many people saying they do well with J. Jill in bigger sizes. And I've been skipping all J. Jill. <laughs> And this is an XL. So I think if any J. Jill is going to sell, this would be the one. Okay, this is a Vineyard Vines Performance. It's the Tucker shirt. I didn't even look it up. It was so lightweight. I think I can, if I remember right, these are like 25. Um, and this, some people think it's a deterrent. I think it's great when it has a golf course on this stuff. Sometimes that really helps my stuff. So I got it. Um, I, I'm thinking 25 or else I'll consign it and it'll sell really well. Just another bra. This one is Curve Muse. I don't know, but it's brand new with tags, so my consignment person will want that. Um, this one, if this is the one, where is it? I think it is. No, this is Honey Love. This is a Honey Love bra. It's okay. That's not the one I was thinking of. Okay, this is Tommy Bahama. It's just like a real nice, like, uh, either a skirt or like a, you know, like um, a sundress, sleeveless sundress. So I think it's just plain old cotton. I'm going to probably end up consigning this, but I want to look. This cost me like less than 50 cents, and I just want to see what they're going for. These are just socks. I better look up the pattern. I've heard some of these patterns can be rare, but otherwise it's just going to be consignment. These are Patagonia swim trunks. There are some style names on these, and the, you know, and I, I've sold them before, so I've got to look and make sure I'm not undercutting these. Minimum of 20, 25, but I know there's some of these swim trunks that go pretty high. I, I just can't tell you. These are purple, um, and I've got to see is this the vintage ones or not. This I really like. This is um, a Pendleton. It's um, Shetland 100% virgin wool, and it's like the grandpa cardigan. So this, it's just much prettier than I'm able to show you. But this should go halfway decent. Just more because of the grandpa cardigan pocket style than even the, the Pendleton. If this had been any brand, I would have picked this sweater up just based on the style. But then you add Shetland wool and Pendleton, and it's a size XL. I think I'm going to do okay. So far, I haven't found any holes. I looked at it in depth at the bins, and I didn't see anything. Just pack sun shorts. I think I can get around 10 or 15 for these, or I'm going to consign them. I've got to look all this up. These look like even cutoffs, not even intentional. It looks like that these were jeans. I don't know. But anyway, I'll get some money for these. Okay. These two, I was hoping this brand was worth something because I thought these were just darling, but it really isn't. And I have two shirts that are in this brand. 
And so, but I'm going to consign them. They're real cute when you look at them. Okay. I wish these would fit me. I need some new pajamas so bad. But these are just PJ Salvage. These are just a pair of pajamas. I've learned the hard way to look up every single thing just in case. I don't think these are worth anything except just for consignment. But they're real cute. I wish they were in my size. Okay, these are Akira pants. They're just, you know, real nice. They're not quite wide enough to be harem pants, but, you know, they just have the real long thing there. And um, these are just polyester. They are lined, but they're just polyester. They're not linen or anything. So I think I was thinking 20. Don't quote me on that. Okay, now these are the J. Jill Ponte pants, and I have been doing an experiment with these in the bigger sizes, and these are the prettiest of them that I have because the wide leg is more in style, or the straight leg at least, and then people, if they're going to buy anything in J. Jill, they do like these Ponte pants. I did kind of a deep dive on them for myself. And um, these are viscose, rayon, nylon, and spandex. So I'm thinking that I can get 20 on these. Um, but I don't have enough of them yet to have gotten a following for them. And my other ones are in size small and mediums. But I'm hopeful for these that if I can get enough of J. Jill, this kind of stuff that I can kind of get a following in there. Let me see what else I got down here. Okay. This is just a bra. This is just a pink yoga Victoria's Secret, just a sports bra. Um, this is the second one in that one brand that I said was really cute. So anyway, it's just cute for consignment, but not really that much resale value. We all know how that goes. Okay, this I just thought was cute. I'm thinking this might even qualify for, um, what is it? It's, it's called the academic look. Like it's just, you know, um, I'm trying to get that look down. I know it's just very kind of browns and, and, you know, um, there's the dark academic and the light academic, I guess, is what Jack was saying, Jack Valentine. And so, um, I'm trying to get that look down. It doesn't mean it can't have any like floral or anything on it, but it's just very, kind of plain, subtle, um, you know, patterns, that kind of stuff. But either way, this was real light. I'm just going to um, either consign it or I might try it. It's a Lauren Conrad, which I normally don't pick up, but I wanted to try it with that style. And then this, why did I get this? This is a BKE, and it's just a um, tank top, and I just thought I might consign that. And then this is the bra I think I was talking about. Yeah, I'm buying this for my consignment customer, so I'm not selling it. But this NYX bra brand, actually, I was shocked. I just was looking it up so I could throw it back because I hate to give her stuff that's just really low end. But actually, I think she'll be happy with this one. Okay, guys, and I hate to do this, but I have three more trash bags, so I'm going to go as fast as I can. I just want to get through this so that I know what I'm taking to the consignment, and um, I'm not going to say a whole much about each thing. This I just got for ourselves. I don't even know the brand, but it's gorgeous. Um, I guess the brand is right here. Oh, oh yeah, I remember. I was going to look this up, too, to make sure. It's called... Pacific or no poetic wander lust, but I'm hoping that it's not worth too much because I love this for my bed. I just won't show you any more bras anyway. That's just for my consignment customer, and they're all there's nothing like a million dollars in there. This is just a plain old Under Armour. It's dirty, needs washed, but it's a bigger size, so I know I can get like 15. Same with this, just your everyday North Face. I got to check and make sure that it has the, you know, the, uh, oh, what do you call that thing? Here we go. I just always check, and on most North Face, that have the hologram. There we go. So I just always check, make sure it has the hologram, do a couple very simple checks, make sure it's legit. Anyway, just a normal gray sweatshirt. It's not even in a very big size. It's a medium. So maybe 15. I, I you know, 
maybe with this this arm style maybe it'll go for more but i don't get a whole lot for all all north face okay here we go untuck it my hubby was good he thinks they're brand new because they had these but that might just be dry cleaning but anyway very nice flannels these are both an XL, so I'll get a decent amount on that. Here's the other one. I thought those were good finds. Nice shirts. These are just NBA basketball shorts, but they're in a great big size. And I do really good with these kind of basketball shorts. I just put gym or school gym or whatever. These are an XL. And so I may consign them or I may uh, sell them on eBay okay these are just levi's 511s i'm trying to i'm more of a i've been buying tapered because that's what i heard was worth money but then now i'm hearing that boot cut and wide leg are back in so even though i don't know myself i just i went ahead and bought these these are more of a straight leg i'll see what they're going for or i'll consign them okay Oh yeah, this, this was a good find. This isn't like over the top too much, but Sims, I do so good on Sims fishing gear. This is probably a $40 hoodie, unless there's damage or something, but I didn't see anything. And uh, yeah, it's a size 2XL. So that's great for Sims fishing stuff. Okay. Then we have another round tree in York shorts. I just do good on these. Not good as in a million dollars, but like 15. Okay, I just have a lot more bras. I'm just going to get rid of these. We don't have time to... There's nothing in there that's too impressive. Other than as a whole, that will pay for part of my trip. I mean, I'm thinking, you know, there's like 70 or 80 bucks in stuff for that person. Um, this is just Raphaella. It's brand new. I'm just going to consign that. Um, I don't think it's my size. It's a cool shirt, but no, it's like a medium petite. So I'm just going to consign that today. Okay, then these are just Aeropostale joggers, but I am doing so good with joggers right now, which is strange because they say wide legs in style, but then these joggers just do real well for me. Now this dress is exciting too. I don't know what I'm going to get for sure, but it's Farm by Ampara Silvestra. And it's just this gorgeous, very colorful, like, you know, very cool pattern thing. And I was trying to look this up, and it was harder than it looks. I think it's more Farm Rio is what it is when you look down into the tag. So anyway, I'm hoping for around 100 on this, but I don't know. I'm not sure um, what I'm going to get. These are brand new. I'm just going to consign them. And then these I always pick up. I've sold this brand before. It's just Calso Earth Shoes. They're scuffed and stuff. That one, you know, is really bad. I'll see if I can get it off. But I'll still get minimum of 20 and probably more. And hopefully, I know I did the bend test there. But anyway, these look good. Whew, okay. This... Almost done, guys. Is a mountain goat by White Stag. You can look that up. These go for a very decent amount of money. I love this pattern on here. I think I'm going to do quite well. Maybe even upwards of 70 or 80 bucks. It's a men's one or a men's large. That's the only thing I have to... I can't tell. I think it's just a men's one is what it says. So I don't know what that means. But anyway, I looked it up and I've, I've sold something like this before. These are just some dance goes that a lady handed me at the bins. And, you know, I went ahead and took them. She was being nice. And I went ahead and just took them. And um, I don't know, you know, how they'll sell. But I'll get 20. Then this is, where are we at here? Okay. This is a lands dress. It's just a real pretty floral I think I'll get 20 to 25 on this. These 
are a mystery. I can't tell if these are older or what. They kind of have that older look, like they might be a vintage style. And so I'm going to have to lay these out and do a better Google Lens because I'm not sure. The lining leads me to believe they aren't that old, but they are cute. So I'm going to just, I don't know what I'm going to do with them. Either donate, or not donate them, but consign them, or I, I just want to make sure that they aren't vintage first. I don't think so. I think they're just cheaper, cheaper shorts with no tag is what I think they are. Um, just a wild fable. I just thought this was cute, and it was, you know, 50 cents at the most, and I just thought I could consign that. Then this one, it looked like it was worth some money. Um, it's just a throw, but I do pretty good with these. And this brand is the Goodwin Weavers. So Goodwin Weavers in this really pretty pattern. So anyway, if it's not worth enough, I'm going to keep it because I actually need a throw upstairs. But I think I, I will get enough to where I'm going to choose to sell it. That's just a bra. That's a real nice one. Okay, so this is a good find. So sometimes you see a jacket like this and then you see a jacket like this and you don't know what to do. Always look down in the pockets because if it's reversible, they put the tag and the pockets in there. So this one should do pretty good for me. I would think 30 minimum. I didn't see any that have the stripes and then the reversible black. Now there's no writing on this or anything. So other than Rennick, that's all I know. So I'm gonna start it kind of high after I have a little bit more time to run comps. I love this sweater. We're getting there, guys. We're almost done. I love this sweater. This is another Chico's experiment. This is size one, but this is just gorgeous. It has this detail on the side. And so I'm hoping that this is one of those because it's a long tunic in a size one that I can get some decent money for. Um, and this is just a, it, it does have a percentage of cashmere. It's, um, 49% cashmere. So that's why, you know, I'm just feeling it and I'm like, there's something to that sweater. So I'm excited about this one. If ever I'm going to sell whatever, what did I say? Chico's for a decent price. I'm going to try to get like $40 on this. I'll look. I've got to look at the specific comps. And then this is Lauren Conrad. I looked up and there was a pair of patterned green pants similar to these that went for like 18 or 19. So I just threw them in. This is Marie Wynn and this brand actually does quite well this is just like a you know like a open front kind of short sleeved um, thing in a large and um, so I think I'll do okay maybe 20 I haven't looked for sure okay then this is etc it's an XL this was just more of a consignment sweater, something I was going to consign. I thought it was real pretty. I didn't look up the comps yet. I guess I better before I consign it. I don't think it's anything, though. And then I just got these. These are Duluth Trading. They're kind of more of a canvas pants. My Duluth Trading are kind of back and forth, but this style with the carpenter, I thought it had carpenter. It has this. This is a certain style, and I think it goes a little bit higher than some of the others. So anyway, I thought I got two, two of these. I, got, I thought I got a white one somewhere. These are 12 regular, so they're women's, and um, I think they're cute. I got to look it up, though. Okay, one more, guys. Last one, last one, last one. This is my life. This is what I do. So I hope you don't mind coming to work with me today. <laughs> this is just an altered state. Again, paid 50 cents. I think this will do okay. These are North Face. These are, what are these? These are a size six. I love these, but they're way too long for me. I wish they would fit me, but anyway, nice, just green, solid North Face pants. Should get 20, 25, depending um, if there's a style in there. Cold Water Creek size 16, but this is just a gorgeous blazer. So I wanted to try. 16 to me isn't like a huge size. It's not like, you know, maybe as good as plus size, but this was a very substantial jacket, and I just wanted to try it, see what happens.
Sorry, I'll tell him I'll be there in a minute. This is just a Carhartt with a sleeve right here. That's just a sweatshirt, probably get 15. This is just a bra for my consignment person. This is an Orvis. Orvis is hit or miss for me. This is a real nice, probably more fall pattern, but it was so lightweight. And um, Orvis can sell really good for me. It's the vintage, it's the older USA tags. So I'm going to put this as vintage Orvis. And um, it does have front pockets, which people like, and so we'll see. All right, these, this is uh, Jay McLaughlin. These had a halfway decent sell through. Um, I'll probably get like 15 or 20, nothing too special. Okay. This is Coldwater Creek again, just trying to experiment. And here's the, it's just like a knit. It's almost like Eileen Fisher or, um, you know, San, not quite Santana knit, but it's just like a Travelers, a Chico's Travelers, I guess is what this feels like. So I'm going to experiment with that. Then this is Lauren Ralph Lauren, but it does have kind of a military style vibe and people are saying that they do okay even with the Lauren Ralph Lauren in this. So I'm thinking at the least maybe 15, but I might be able to eke out more. It's a size 12, so not a bad size. That is for my Sunday school kids. All right, these are padded bike shorts. I always do really well with these when I can find them. These are performance technical women's gear. So I'm not sure um, what I'm going to get, but at least 10 or 15. And they sell fast for me. Okay, then, oh yeah, this is a tire of uh, Fryer Tuck. These do really well. I looked it up, and this is short sleeve, but this should do at least 30, I saw on the Fryer Tucks. And then this is just a Columbia. I really like this shirt. I love the material. Um, it is a large. I might I might actually keep this. I love this shirt. I'm going to see if it fits. Um, I need some stretch in my shoulders, though. It has to have spandex, or I can't wear just a button-down. Um, so, but then if I wear an XL, um, I'm just so short that I just look like, you know, real, like I'm just trying to dress messy. It just looks real baggy. So I, I hope that fits. This is just a New Balance running shirt. I'm going to take this to the consignment store today after I get it washed. And last item, guys. In a perfect world, I'd save my best items for last, but that's okay. This is real life. I don't list in order. I just list and get it done. This actually is a good item, I think. Now, I haven't authenticated this, but I have sold Cycle Bunny before. And this was in a putback pile that someone put back. So I don't know if they know more than I do and it's it's fake or something. That's why I'm a little suspicious. Um, but they had put it back. And um, it says Thread Collective on the inside. So I need to do my research and see if this is legit. But if it's a legit um, Psycho Bunny, then I am really happy with, the, um, with this buy. So I'd forgotten about this. I totally spaced it. <laughs> Anyway, that's it, guys, in case, I think I told you, yeah, two, $280 total. I think just a couple of the pieces should get me my money back, but then, of course, I have traveling expenses on top of that, and we ate at, after we were done, we were so tired, and I was so thirsty. We just went to Tokyo Joe, so I did spend 30 bucks for my husband and I to get um, really, like, we love Tokyo Joe's. If you don't know what that is, look it up. It's kind of a sushi-type poke bowl place. And then um, I also got gas, which gas is not cheap. And I already had a halfway decent tank. And then to get home from Denver and all the trips we've been making, I had to fill up 35 bucks. So I would say this was about a $400 trip even without hotel. I didn't even have to get a hotel. This was like a $400 trip. Include, you know, inventory expenses, you know, wear and tear on the car. That's being kind of conservative on that. So anyway, I think I can make my money back on just three to four items. I'm going to get those listed first. And um, thanks for hanging in there. I know it's almost two hours, but this is a true bins haul. And um, so anyway, have a good day. Bye-bye, guys.